Welcome everyone to another unboxing video. This time we are taking a look at Layer of Darkness. More on the newer side in terms of products or decks in general released by Yugi um, Konami. Not by Yugi, what the heck? Um, but somewhat new, not entirely new, a couple years ago. Uh, first edition is actually what I got because this one is not entirely difficult to find one like this. Let's flip it over and quickly take a look at the back side just so you can kind of see what the deck um, is composed of. There you go. Okay, so some pretty um pretty cool stuff in here. Definitely, um, there are for sure some intriguing cards to say the least. Not so some of my personal favorite, definitely not, but they're still cool regardless. So let's go ahead and um, take a look at oh my God, sometimes these products are crazy. There we go. Okay, open that up. Go here, close that, or show that I mean. Remove that piece, and show that at the end. All right, let's take a look at this one first. So this one here is the um, Playmat. There we go. Wow. Okay, okay. Looks pretty nice. And on the flip side, the left side is the strategies, tips and strategies. I'll show that really quick right there. And then on the other side, we got the power of how to improve it. They're recommending Dark Saviors, Flames of Destruction, Extreme Force, and circuit break okay not bad not bad let's close that and then in here uh beginner's guide all right done <laughs> and lastly the cards themselves all right so let's go ahead and see where the oh look at that duelings promotion that's right okay um i can't find it why is it so hard to find this sometimes is that two in a row that doesn't actually have one? Oh my god well that's not good that means I gotta make my own. I gotta find my own. Hmm. I actually really hate doing that. Okay, I think I can do it from here. There we go. Okay, that wasn't so bad, at least for that one. Okay. Sorry about that. Took me a while. Alright. So, very first one, we got Lilith Lady of Lament, as you can see. Uh, it's a level 3 Fiend 2000 attack. Whoa, look at that. This thing must have that effect, huh? Now, if this card is normal summon, its original attack becomes 1000. Quick about it, you contribute one dark monster, reveal three normal traps from your deck. Your opponent randomly chooses one for you to set on the field and you shuffle the rest back into your deck. You can only use this effect of the Little Lady of Lament once per turn. It's a quick effect where you basically just tribute one dark monster, choose three traps, they choose one for you to set. Pretty interesting. Uh, it doesn't make you go plus because you are losing a card, but if you tribute the right monsters in the graveyard, you're technically not going minus if you know how to utilize those combos well. But yeah, this is pretty cool. So if it's normal summon, it, its attack does become um, 1000 actually. Uh, this thing is not... Oh, look at that. It's off center, unfortunately. Hmm. Oh well. That's fine, I suppose. I'm gonna put that right there. All right, so we actually have, um, I believe it's four more foils. The next one here, once it focuses, is Darkest Diablo's Lord of the Lair. This one is a level eight. 3,000. Your opponent cannot tribute this face of card on the field and cannot target it with card effects. Actually, it's already pretty cool because it's immune to kaijus. That's amazing. You can only use each of these effects on once per turn. If a dark monster control is tributed except in the damage shaft, you can special summon this card from your graveyard if it was there when you tributed or hand, even if not. Okay. And you can tribute one dark monster if one opponent places one card on their hand on either the top or the bottom of the deck. It is actually a pretty intriguing card and really useful in some ways. I like that. This one, oh, it's still not, it's a little off-centered. These are off-centered. I got a bad, got a bad print. Okay. Next one. Harima, the Wicked Warden. So these are actually supers. There's three supers and two ultras. Uh, but there we go. So I'm not going to read this whole effect here, but you can just take a look at it yourself real quick. Okay. Not bad. And then, um, as far as the next ones, we have Lair of Darkness, first of all. This one's a normal spell. And there's the effect right there. Torment tokens. I believe you actually get a token um, with this one, so it's pretty cool. Okay. And then, oh, I that. And then the last one is Grinning Gray Virus. Normal trap. This one's Tribute of Dark with 3,000 or less. Damn. 
can't basically, you know, like the whole like crush card virus. What, what crush card virus started with deck devastation virus or rather epidemic virus. Um, it's a little ironic saying that right now. But anyway, um, now we're going to move on to our comments here. So we are going to start with Duke Shade, the Sinister Shadow Lord. Let me go out a little bit more. There we go. Okay. Then we got Diablos, King of the Abyss. Okay. Lich Lord, King of the Underworld. Okay. Prometheus, King of the Shadows. Nice. Archfiend Emperor, the First Lord of Horror. I like that artwork. It's crazy. Caius the Mega Monarch. You do get a Mega Mar Monarch in here. Pretty cool, but I don't think you get the regular Caius. That's interesting. Legendary Maju Garzet. Okay. Um, Vanity's Fiend. That's one of the older ones, actually. Mist Archfiend. Get some Archfiends in here, huh? Uh, Infernal Dragon. Okay. It's also a bit of an older one. Archfiend Cavalry. Hmm. You know, uh, I actually do want to do an Archfiend video for my um, Archetype review soon enough. Hopefully sooner, than, sooner rather than later. Stygian Street Patrol. Oh my god, that's one of the trudge cards from... Oh my god. Phantom of Chaos. This one can be pretty good in some ways. Okay. Plague Wolf. Fiendish Rhino Warrior. Okay. Curry Bandit. Alright. Tour Guy from the Underworld. This thing is fantastic. Whoa. That's a good card to have for in first edition. Alright, and then we got Absolute King Back Jack. That's supposed to resemble Jack Atlas. What the fuck? Okay. Uh, then we got Reeling Karibo. Alright, so those are all the monsters, as you can see. That's actually quite a lot of them. Moving on to the spells. Recurring Nightmare. Oh yeah, so this one is, um, target two dark monsters with zero defense in your graveyard, add those targets to your hand. That, that thing can actually be pretty good, because you are going plus off of that, so that's pretty useful, definitely. Okay, Blur of Darkness, great card right there, definitely a good one to have. Hand Destruction, okay, nice. Foolish Burial Good, this one's for spell and traps, I believe, yeah. Okay, cool. Boogie Trap. Fires of Doomsday, pretty good uh, token generator. Veil of Darkness, what is this one again? During your draw phase, we'll focus this please. Focus, focus, focus. Oh my god, it's not focused, there we go. During your draw phase, if you draw um, a dark monster, you can reveal any number of them, send them to the graveyard, then you can draw one more card. Okay, cool. Then with trap cards, we got Crush Card Virus, Deck Devastation Virus, Eradicator Epidemic Virus, literally the one I was talking about, it's a little ironic. Full Force Virus. Then we got Dark Light over here, okay. Uh, Trap of Darkness. Mind Crush, good one to have right there. Rise to Full Height, okay. Curse of Darkness. And Sinister Yoshiro. Alright. And then you do also get one free token by purchasing this uh, structure deck. Pretty cool, I guess. And the last card that I briefly held in my hand there for a sec is this one, the just Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links promotion, uh, you know, just for marketing, but I don't need to show that one that much, really. So that basically is what your um, uh, structure deck is composed of if you do purchases. And pretty good stuff, um, especially the monsters I find more interesting in here. You do get some really good ones like Tour Guide. That's fantastic. Um, I know I'm kind of messing this up right now, but that's fine. Yeah, but a couple of random arch fiends and those, you know, the Dark Kings and random Vanities card. That's pretty cool. And a couple of Karibos as well, which is kind of funny. For spells, you know, um, Recurring Nightmare is pretty good. Allure of Darkness is fantastic. Fires of, Do of Doomsday, pretty good token generator in some ways. And then you get some virus cards. Overall, you get five virus cards. Full Force, Errat Eradicator, Epidemic, Deck Devastation, Crush Card, and Grinning Grave. All right, so... Um, if you enjoyed this episode in any way, as always, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye-bye, everyone. Have a great and, of course, a fantastic day.